when I was eight years old. I wrote down on a piece of paper my goals. I wanted to be a four-time state champion, a four-time national champion. I wanted to win the Olympics. I started wrestling when I was five. My family and I, we lived in Evanston, Wyoming. And before I knew it, I fell in love with the sport. On my second, third year, I started having some success and uh, that's when the fun really started. Every weekend, getting in the back of the Suburban, driving to Colorado, Idaho, Utah, um, different parts of Wyoming, trying to find a local wrestling tournament, show up, wrestle two age groups, two brackets. And uh, to me, it wasn't really a competition, that was practice. And I think that's where I started developing a lot of technique and I'm glad that that's the way it started. I had a passion for wrestling and competing and being a competitor. I knew that that's the kind of dedication that I took. I listened to interviews, I watched people you know, that I looked up to and how they conducted themselves and what they said it took to be successful. And I just started doing that. My dad never let me get too confident. You know, it was always, you know, he always challenged me all the time, whether it was going up in weight class or going up in age groups. So I always stayed hungry growing up. You gotta be confident in yourself. You know, when you step out there against one other person to be crowned the best in your weight class, the best in the country, the best in the world, you gotta believe that you're the best. But, you know, making sure that you challenge yourself all the time, and I think that's what keeps you humble, and that's what's kept me humble my whole life. I believe when I go and compete, I'm prepared. I have faith in my training, I have faith in my coaches, um, I have faith in my preparation. It's the confidence I build in practice that allows me to wrestle with the same confidence when I compete. I'd say right now I eat about anywhere from five to 6,000 calories a day. I, I stay away from refined carbohydrates. Uh, it's a lot of proteins, a lot of, a lot of really good healthy fats. So your body will use those as your fuel source. I believe in nutrition and I believe how much different my body feels now than it did in the past. I have much less inflammation. I feel good. I feel like I can have much better endurance. Um, so I believe that nutrition has played a big fact in that. You know, the only way you can really get good at, at something is you gotta be around it on a consistent basis. So I started the M2 Training Center um, in October. Actually, October 1st was our first day. We had an open mat. Everyone was welcome to come. I mean, I really look forward to going to practice um, just because I'm trying to develop relationships with these kids and the parents. And I have great coaching staff. I have great people that um, are helping every single day. And I really believe that these kids have the best environment in the country and it's growing every single day. I would say internationally, I haven't achieved you know, what I want to do, you know, being a world Olympic champion. I haven't made a world team yet. I haven't made an Olympic team. I've been behind um, some really talented wrestlers. 2020 in Tokyo, I mean, that's just what, that's what it's all about, you know, for me. You know, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to pursue that goal every single day I have. There were some adjustments that I needed to make, and I think it really took me falling short in 2016 to really make some of those adjustments, whether it was my nutrition, my training, just my strength and conditioning alone. And since I made that, those adjustments, you know, I've had a, a lot more success. I've had a great career to this point. Um, but well, there's still more that, that I want to achieve.